Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Wild with Imagine Pediatrics Behavioral Health and Wellness, and today's episode is a holiday gift guide from a pediatrician and mom of eight boys all about choosing the best gift for boys. If you're watching on YouTube, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of the weekly content that helps you love parenting and your kids even more. And let's get right into it. So first of all, um, I'm going to talk about some principles and then I'll tell you some of my favorite gifts from babies to teenagers for boys. And I, I'm focusing on boys in this episode because I am a mom of eight boys. And so comment if you'd like me to make a video like this for girls as well. Um, I have some wonderful friends who have all girls and so I have some insider information. Some of the main principles I'd like to help you think about before you get all your presents for the holidays are, number one, don't get presents for your kids that you don't want them to have. And I think this is a big thing that parents need to be reminded of because often the things that kids want aren't necessarily the things that we know might be best for them. And so, for example, if you don't want your kids to be playing video games all the time, maybe don't get them a gaming system. Um, there are things that your kids want and that you want for them that are the same. If you think gaming is great, then maybe choose the gaming system. But it all boils down to what you want for your kids and what you want to be supporting and guiding your kids in. The second point is now is an important time to practice receiving gifts politely. So you can talk to your kids, especially if you're going to be gathering with family members, um, to help them know how to receive a gift politely, even if they don't like it. And you can even practice what to say, saying thank you. Um, kids need a little coaching on this. It does not come naturally, especially for young kids, to stop and say thank you unless it's it's something that they've been trained in. And sometimes kids, when they don't like a gift, they don't filter their responses like we adults do. They might even have a tantrum or something like that. So so it's, it's important to talk to kids about that sometimes we receive gifts that we don't like and it still means that people love us and sometimes gifts can be returned. You know, talking to them about that. Um, the third point is, that we as parents can help give our kids experiences of giving. And this is so important to really shift the focus of the holiday to giving. In our family, we had a couple years where we had really tight finances and we had very limited Christmases. And so those were some of our happiest Christmases where the kids, we always have it where our boys draw a name of a sibling and they choose a present for that sibling, but that year they even just made presents for their siblings, and it was such a beautiful time. I remember one of my kids made this drum with a bucket for his teenage brother, and, and you know, of course it's not necessarily what a teenager would want to get is a homemade drum, but it was just beautiful to see their interaction and the appreciation that my kids showed to each other about the creativity that had been shown in creating these gifts. So now let's get into some of my recommendations specifically for different age groups. And some of these apply to boys and girls, but I speak from what I know, and so I'm going to be focusing on gifts for boys. But as I said, some applies to both boys and girls. So babies. Now babies, you know, sometimes we go all out and find the cutest toys and dolls and animals, and but babies don't really care. Babies don't really know. And so if you want to simplify your Christmas this year, then maybe don't over go overboard for buying presents for really young babies. Um, sometimes the presents you give to them are really for their parents, but babies are happy with simple things. So. These are some of my favorite, the toys of, that were favorites of my kids when they were little. These are some little canning jar lid rings. 
and they make noise when they're hit together and they were just in the bottom drawer of my kitchen and my kids would always crawl and get them out and play with them. This is a pot. <laughs> so babies like to just get into the things that they see their parents doing. And on Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate for the holidays, your very young children will like the boxes, they'll like the wrapping, even more than what's inside probably. So it's okay to just be simple and, and let them just enjoy the holidays. If you want to buy them cute and colorful, safe toys, then go for it. For toddlers, one of my favorite gifts for a slightly older toddler is a balance bike. Um, I remember, you know, my oldest son waited until I think he was like eight or nine to really get confident on a bike. Now my youngest son, he got a balance bike. He was riding a bike with tons of skill by the time he was four. And so this is a gift to think about if you would like your young child to be able to ride a bike early. Often it does help them develop that balance and develop the skill to ride a bike earlier. And so that was one of my favorite toddler gifts. I am including links to some of these gifts in the description of the video. Um, in terms of school age boys, one of my favorite things are Legos, building products, things that help kids be creative. And so this is a little toy. These are called plus plus toys and they can just be pulled apart and built into all sorts of things. These are really good. I don't know if you can see that. These are really good fiddle toys for times your kids need to just kind of be quiet um, and and just be making things that are that are um, quiet like during a church meeting or um, during something that you have to bring your child to where they need to sit quietly. Also Legos, I put a link to the three in, uh, a three in one Lego creator set. I like the three in ones because um, instead of just being a kit that gets built once and then sits there, you can build three things out of it and so it can be kind of get more mileage. Another type of block that I like are these brain blocks they're they're rectangular and and skinny and it's amazing how well they balance so many amazing geometric creations can be made with these um, i have one son especially that loves to build and he has created some amazing structures with these blocks you know sometimes we want to get the cutesy blocks that have all the different shapes in them but then they actually don't fit together really well so if the goal is just like building an amazing creation, then these um, brain blocks are really good. Um, going on to teens, teens can be really hard to purchase for. And so I think, especially as kids are getting older, it's important to ask them what they want, not to, to give them the expectation that they always will get exactly what they're requesting, but just to be in tune so your gift, gift doesn't flop. Some things for teens that I think are really valuable are giving self-care products and also giving experiences. Um, some some types of experiences you could consider giving would be you know tickets to something or um, going on a trip particularly when the pandemic settles <laughs> that might be become a better option um, or even a gift card can be an experience because it can allow them to choose things when when you know that's what they're wanting is to have more choices in their lives and and so being able to have some buying choices can be really really exciting for kids and teens so I put a link to um, a Amazon gift card because that would give a lot of options for shopping you know sky's the limit you can get all kinds of different things from Amazon so you don't even have to figure out the right company that they're gonna like or the right brand they're gonna like because that in itself can be tricky um, so if you are gonna get a more specialized gift card make sure you talk to them about their favorite brands you know the different digital products that they use so you can really be on point with that you can also in terms of experiences you can buy them um, different camps or educational things that they're really wanting anyway so 
that's an option. In terms of self-care products, I know my boys were recently um, looking into the um, Dr. Squatch soaps, so I put a link to that. They have organic soaps and they're supposed to be really good for the skin and um, that's kind of a trending item right now. So I hope that these things give you some ideas for buying presents for your boys and put in the comments if you have gifts that have just been amazing that you have chosen and that you'd buy again let's work together to create the most amazing list of perfect boy gifts so I would love your help on that now finally I know that I put Amazon links in my video description but especially at this time of coronavirus when businesses are struggling I'd also um, suggest that you think about your local businesses trying to give them business and keep their doors open so think local think um, supporting small businesses at this time thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned for videos every week to help you parent even better